do my любовь сиди ко мне. Mom is going to work today. Jake, are we twins? Are we twins? <laughs> Wish mama luck. I'll see you soon. No. <laughs> okay, we're on our way. We're gonna have a good day. Oh, that rhymed. Um, we are shooting today for a shoe company, and uh, I think it's like a big crew. There's like a lot of m different models, so that's always fun. And uh, we're shooting on a rooftop. Although it seems that it's gonna be raining all day, so fun times. That drive-through life. Um, this is just some oatmeal with make maple. I don't know what comes solid but it's maple one called toggle in the past t-o-g-g-l and it's basically i mean it's a glorified stopwatch right you, you punch in what you're working on you hit the button and then it kind of tracks you know what you, what you do it sends you a nice report okay so we're here i mean not we me i'm here um i took the wrong turn so it took me 30 more minutes to get anywhere so yay Do you want me to send her to wardrobe? Focus, focus. Okay guys, so we're here on the shoe today, but I actually found my icon. Oh, hello. My gosh. Hi, you came friend. in and the first thing that I saw was your outfit and I was like, oh. it's gonna be a good day. <laughs> so this is Judith. What's good your morning. full good name? Good morning, I'm Judith Maria Bradley. Beautiful, and you said you started modeling? Two years ago. Yeah. And I'm 72. I wanted to ask, I didn't know if I can ask, but yes. seven, that's amazing. Well, it's, it's surprising and it's so wonderful, isn't it? It's really wonderful. It's beautiful. Did you pursue it or no. did someone came up no, to you and said? No, it just started on its own, sort of. I never wanted to be a model. I never, I've always admired acting yeah. and voice work, but I never thought of modeling. Oh my God. You're just, you're like a living proof that that age is is somewhere in our heart maybe 100 percent. so what does your heart feel where are you do you feel your I, you know what i suppose it's aging but you get you get to be at peace you're at you're at peace in your body you mm -hmm. know you're happy with your body you mm -hmm. you every every morning i'm happy that i wake up it's you know. beautiful. Well, you just made my day. Oh, well, Probably my month, my, so it's very my, exciting. You're making my... Um, with your style, have you always been... I've always been the same. Wow. I've always dressed the same. That's amazing. I have to say, it's just well, the way you paired everything. season right now. We just finished our shot. It was terrible. I'm vlogging. Uh, how was how was it? Cold, but <laughs> that was not uh, so that was cold. not fun. So some moment I couldn't feel anything like that. I know. Uh, and they were like, hey, can you just like hang out and be and smile and laugh? And I'm like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no. But even then, I think they. they yeah, saw. I don't think they were feeling it either. You don't have to be really mindful of this camera. Yeah. It's just gonna be there and we're gonna keep talking. Okay. Do you find that you, you fell in love with yourself getting older or did you feel like you always had that? Well, I was, I was raised by two beautiful parents. Mm -hmm. My mother would say things like, stay dressed and stay ready. Mm -hmm. And my father would say, and if you're ready, 
then there'll be a path that you have to walk. That will be your life. Mm -hmm. I think because when we're young, we're really kind of stupid. We're just happy, maybe happy to just be here. Mm -hmm. And we're worried about what we're wearing and our friends and everything. But as you age, you sort of realize that how important life is. Yeah. And I think as you age, you really must get to like yourself better. Mm -hmm. I know I understand myself better now. Yeah. And I think I appreciate myself better now. And that's, I feel like, the pure happiness, right? Once you that's content. That's what happiness is. Yeah. That's what happiness is. When you don't look for validation from anybody that's else. That's right. Oh, no, you don't need that. Yeah. You don't need that at all. You need validation from yourself. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't need to be arrogant. Mm -hmm. It needs, it actually makes you humble. It makes yeah. you humble to accept the fact that you are this soul in this body looking for a life. It's wonderful. Mm -hmm. It's wonderful. If you could give one advice to your younger self, what would it be? Oh. Dance. Dance? Dance as much as you can. That's a great advice. Dance. Because when something troubles you, mm -hmm. when things aren't quite right, mm -hmm. you can dance it through. Leonard Cohen wrote the song, Dance Me to the End of Love. Mm -hmm. There's something about it. That's a great advice. When people ask me why, why I, I'm not with my first husband, mm -hmm. I say, he didn't know how to dance. <laughs> That's a and, great. And that just, I think it's become symbolic of life. Yeah. Life's a dance. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you're gonna roll, you need to roll with the change of that's music. Right. That's right. That's right, you yeah. need to, that's right. The step has to be whatever. Yeah. And it's wonderful when you can dance with someone. Yeah. So I think maybe relationships yeah. should be based on the fact that if you can dance together, it would be all right. That's all you need to know. <laughs> that's a great... You joke, you that, joke. that really simplifies the whole... It simplifies life. Yeah. That's all you need to know. Yeah. I used to say that you needed to know three things about people. Are they attractive? Do they have a sense of humor? Mm -hmm. And do they know their place? But now I add, do you dance mm -hmm. to those three things. That's wonderful. It is. It's wonderful. When you think about it, it's all we need to know. Do you find something, I mean, now that you've been in the fashion industry for a little bit and you meet young girls that yes. are in this industry, yes. do you find a pattern of, you know, something that a lot of young girls have today? If it's Well, it's something that comes, that comes with us in, in young age. Mm -hmm. We're insecure. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. I don't know why. Although we have so much more so resources much, today, yes. right? Yeah. And there's so much knowledge, and there's so much everything, right? And mm -hmm. we're talking North America, where everyone, you know, can can get some form of beautiful clothing. And there's yeah. so much of everything. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's because we've never had to go without. Mm -hmm. When a culture has the the fra is fragmented by war or famine or whatever, they become a more humble, mm -hmm. stoic, mm -hmm. genuine people. Maybe because we have too much. Mm -hmm. We don't know how to deal with it. Do you, I just wonder because, you know, for me I feel girls today are more insecure than I think they've ever been. But, I mean, it is, do you think it has to do a lot with the parents and the way, the, the well, way they're bringing? Think, think of technology the way it's being used. Yeah. People grab their phone first thing in the morning before they brush their teeth. Yeah. So, in one way, we're looking for affirmation of something. Mm -hmm. Like, what is that? Mm -hmm. If you spend your life on a screen, I see it all the time. Mm -hmm. Parents shooting their children, taking a bath. The child never knows what's what to be, not to be. Are we on screen? Are we not? Everything, everything's becoming virtual. Mm -hmm. As human beings, we are feelings. We're vibrational. Mm -hmm. And instead, we're becoming celluloid. We're becoming virtual. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So think of it. So do you, do you think that's a big reason why 
it's hard for people. People can't really connect to themselves I and find so. that. I think there's a lot involved there. Or connect yeah. to each other. Yeah. I, I'm wondering how you get past hello. Mm -hmm. If you're a tech, they don't, people don't even call each other anymore. They, yeah, that's they true. end up texting. They, they split relationships by saying it's over. Yeah. And they text it. <laughs> like, tell me what that is. Yeah. It's very strange to me. It is. It's very strange. But you know what I think that it's right now we're going, we're getting to, we're gonna get to the peak of this at and then some everything, point. Yes, and then it will, yeah, because everything comes balances, like this. Yeah, it'll balance out and it will go yeah. back to, well, yeah. I hope not caveman. No, but somewhere, but somewhere, somewhere in the middle. <laughs> so, fourteenth century Versailles. Let's go to Versailles. That would be Let's wonderful. Let's go back there. Be, I Let's hope I'll back. still be around for that. <laughs> That's that would good. be wonderful. That's good. Thank you so much. Oh, I feel like welcome. a lot of girls and a lot of women, I think that there's not a, enough of voices out there. There needs to be more conversation know, yes. about it. There needs to be more discussion about it. Yeah. I always think there needs to be groups set up to help people age. Yes, I so agree. Everybody ages as different as their thumbprint is different. Um, but nothing is the same in any of us. No, but that's the beautiful thing. And I feel that's like why that's... Life is beautiful. That's why, to me, with social media, like when I got into this world and I understood that it's going to take, you know, um, for me to put myself out there and share things with people, and I'm okay with that. But um, to me, social media, I find that for a lot of people, it gives a lot of insecurity because people go on and like, oh, she's so pretty, and she has this, and she has that. Yeah, but then you they know? put a Snapchat face on it. Ex oh, then they, exactly. Then they filter it to death. Exactly. Then they're not themselves anyway. That's what made me pursue, <laughs> you know, self-love and empowerment because I feel like if we're going to continue, let girls think that this fakeness is what is real out there, they will never grow to be confident, independent women. They'll always sit there being like, oh, I wish well, I was her and I wish I, was, I had that. I was blessed that I always have said what, even if it was the right thing, Yeah. I said what I felt. Yeah. Not what I think. Yeah. It takes a lot I of... I said what I felt. It takes a lot of courage. When my father and mother named me, mm -hmm. they named me Judith because my father said it's a biblical name and it's a strong name. Mm -hmm. And you're going, to have, you're going to live in difficult times, mm -hmm. so you're going to need a strong name. Mm -hmm. And when I heard the story of Judith from the Bible, I thought, wonderful, mm -hmm. I can be that Judith. I've always had, I felt, an old soul because mm -hmm. I seem to understand things all the time. Mm -hmm. I seem to know them or sense them. I think all of us have ESP. We have a sixth sense. Most of the time we just ignore it. Yeah. You know, that gut feeling yeah. is the right feeling. Yeah. Like the gut, they call it the second brain, right? So, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, yeah. oh, Judith. I know. I could talk to you for hours. We could talk for <laughs> hours. We could. It would we be can wonderful. have sushi. We'll keep in touch. Yes. You take I would my love phone that. number. Yeah. Took a vegetarian burger. Secretly want this. Is that beef? Mm -hmm. Am I getting a little too personal then? <laughs> hey dude, you're gonna have lunch? Cool. I'm gonna come right here instead. Okay. Okay, I get some footage. Hey guys, here I am on set. <laughs> I love you guys so much. Be sure to subscribe and like below. <laughs> That's actually what I should do. No, I don't do any of these practices that are hey like the ABC of YouTube. Everyone says that now. Hey guys. I know, I do that too. I have a really it's annoying voice It's hard not to, it's too. so easy. Here's, have hey you... guys, how would you start a video? Oh. Hey guys, exactly like that. Right? <laughs> yep. Glamour. Group shot. Also, they styled me in my favorite Y H&M jeans that I've been showing you guys and all my what I wore. One 
We have one more shot and then I can leave. It's really cold today outside, which is weird because we're in July. But um, it looks like a really cool shoot and we have really cool and interesting people. Um, I'm trying to chase everybody with my camera to ask questions, but maybe, maybe I need to chill out. Okay, we are done. It was fun. I got to meet really cool people. I'm hoping Judith will agree to be a regular on my channel. That woman was just oh, so inspiring. I have to say that when I saw her in the morning, she came in. The first thing she said was, darling, is there any coffee or martini? I was like, this is, this is a woman that I will get along with. So, I'm excited for that. Okay, where is my car? Oh my god, my nose is so red from the cold outside. Um, okay, this is it. I hope you enjoyed my come to work with me. Did good, Valeria. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it.